as I indicated earlier, the motion for altering the boundaries for declaration of cities was moved in December. We have ascertained that uh, there are 291 members present today. We require 50% plus one. So we are going to start voting by roll call. I'm required under Rule 98, sub, subsection 4, to close the doors, to draw the bar, and no member shall either enter or leave the penal hall. I don't have doors to close today. I'm just appealing that you remain here until the vote has been taken, please. No coming in, no going out. So, as you stated that it was this debated on last year, it's now four months down the road. And I wanted to find out from you whether it's not prudent that the minister, the move of the motion, takes us through a brief of the motion so that we may appreciate when we are voting, we vote knowing what we are voting on. This is my prayer, Madam Speaker. Members, just for clarity, uh, the minister is just going to read out the clusters before we start voting. Honorable colleagues, I present the following cities for your approval in the following clusters. Cluster number one, the cities take effect on 1st July 2020, Arua City, Gulu City, Jinja City, Mbarara City, Fort Porto City, Mbale City, and Masaka City. Right Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members, Members, please listen to the, to the minister, please. I beg to present the following cities for cluster number two. The cities to take effect 1st July 2021. Oima City, Lira City, Soroti City. Madam Speaker and Honorable Members, the following city will take effect in 2022 in Tebe City. Madam Speaker, I beg to present finally the cities which will take effect 1st July 2023. These are the city of Moroto, Nakasongola City, Kabale City, and Wakiso City. I beg to move. Right Honorable Speaker, Right Honorable Speaker, I rise on procedural matter. I want to raise a procedural matter. This matter, true, was introduced to the House last year. However, Madam Speaker, considering what is going on now in the country and the decision by this House requesting the Minister of Finance to give us a detailed statement on the effect of COVID-19 on the economy, Madam Speaker. I want to say, request, Madam Speaker, that before we go into voting on this matter, would it not be procedural right for us, for us, Madam Speaker, I'm entitled, I rise on a procedural okay. issue. Or we would not receive order. Whether, Madam Speaker, we would not receive at first a detailed statement on the effect of COVID on this economy. But also, secondly, Madam Speaker, I want order. I want to remind this House that town councils and sub counties were created, Madam Speaker. They were even operationalized. We yet don't have money to operationalize the town councils and sub-counties, even in this year's budget, Madam Speaker. But we are now proceeding to...
first seat is Madam Speaker. Would it not be procedural right, Madam Speaker, for us to receive first finance tell us where is the money for the sub-counties and town councils before we proceed to look at the cities, Madam Speaker? I think, Madam Speaker, let us, I'm speaking as a member of parliament from Tororo, I am also speaking as a minister in this government. I have not been attending cabinet. I don't know what has been discussed of late. But Madam Speaker, let us sometimes first do first things first. There is no money for sub-counties and town councils, and we want to move into cities. Madam Speaker, this is the procedural issue that I'm raising, and I wish that we can first discuss this before we can proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My understanding that was moved is that it's about declaring cities or not declaring cities. That's what it's about. Not financing at the moment. So let us ascertain, let us ascertain the numbers first uh, before we take a vote. Let's ascertain the numbers first. On a number, I now put the question that those cities be approved. I start the roll call. I start the roll call. Honorable Ababiku Jessica, Honorable Abacha Chon Butamoy, Honorable Barbara David, No Abigaba Kasubat, Honorable Christina Yo, Achia Rumigio, Honorable Achia Terence, Honorable Cheng Saro Pendi, Honorable Achia Lucio Tim, Honorable Achia Bri James, Honorable Achon. Please take UQ, UQ quickly. Madam Speaker, we had to borrow 600 million euros to finance our budget for this financial year. I vote no. Thank you. Right Honorable Speaker, Anatin, Ugual, Cecilia, Barbara, representing Dokoro District, I vote yes. Thank you, Honorable Katsaba Atkins. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Atkins Katsaba Bukonzo County West. As I wait for Kassess Industrial and Mineral City, Madam Speaker, allow me to vote yes. Thank you. Honor the Vice President. Madam Speaker, on behalf of people of Okoto Centro in Masaka District, south of the equator, I vote yes. Thank you. Honor Badeke. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. I, Adeke Anaibaju, National Female Youth MP. On behalf of the young people in the whole country, and uniquely Soroti, I vote yes. Thank you. Samuji Ibrahim, I vote yes. Yes, Kassanda here. Oh, just in Kainza. Is Grace Watavingaya here? Okona Bokainza. Hi, thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Hainza Justin, Bududa District, I vote yes. Thank you, Right Honorable. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. I'm present, I'm registering my presence on behalf of the people of Mitiana, I vote yes. Thank you, Right Honorable Thank you, that is 309. Clerk? Speaker, I'm Nakayenza Kone Galiwango. On behalf of the people of Bogisu, and Bale in particular, I vote yes. Thank you, Honor. Nakwan Christine. My name is Florence. Thank you very much, Right Honorable Speaker. My name is Florence Namayanja. I represent Bukoto East constituency, which is in Masaka District. I dedicate my vote to the people of Masaka City. Please, just I vote. vote. Yes. Please, take a lot of our time. Just vote, please. Right, Honorable Speaker, I say yes on cities. Thank you. I vote yes. Okay, Honorable Apojo. Speaker, Sir Richard, Kibale County is yes. Thank you, Honorable Soru. As I did indicate earlier, I would seek your guidance. Myself, 
and um, other members of parliament from Wachiso have conferred with the minister and would wish to uh, seek your leave to amend and bring Wachiso and Entebbe closer to 2021. I would like uh, to... Uh, no, 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 no. On the members, I think we should... And we had indicated, we had indicated that because the ministry had not sought a resolution from the district to incorporate some of the sub-counties and, uh, and town councils, the, the resolution was secured conditional to the two cities starting together. I would implore the patience of the House, right Honorable Speaker and Honorable Colleagues, that fairness in this case would require us would require us to stick to the concessions made with the government. Right on speaker, with the pain, the point of order I'm raising on is, uh, is it in order for a senior colleague who is a lawyer by profession to bring an amendment when we have already finished voting and the clerk is tallying, doing the mathematics of addition, is it in order for Honor Sagona to start confusing the clerk and leave the house when we have already voted? Is it in order? You know, there are issues of equity in this country. I really want to appeal that we go with the motion as proposed by the minister because he came here and read them out. None of you said anything. So we started voting, and I finished voting. Clark, please give us the tally. Give us the tally. The votes that came in by telephone were 12, so we shall record them separately. Then the clerk will give us the total for the physical and the Zoom, because the Zoom voted that we could hear. Now, one of them, uh, this is the tally. The total yes votes were 325. The physical votes here were 313. There was one no. There was no abstention. We know the 12 telephone votes, but they will not be added to the final tally. The 12 votes which came by phone will not be added to this tally. So we only deal with the uh, 314. The 313 yes and the one no. Those are the votes we have. The requirement was to get 50% plus one. We have achieved it. The others have it. Thank you very much. Echilonje vivuge vinji. Except na kasongola. Biona already vili mo budget. Nga municipal. So you are talking of a vivuga already. A vili na budget zaabyo. Na yeka tibionge duako. Um, uh, e dara. So Satan le chizja kwe tagisa in simbi e dara na ye to tunuli la saide mu e ya expenditure tunuli la ne saide e dara akalunja kava mu bibuga mu investment mu um, mu infrastructure ngudo vichi e simbi o kwe yongera e mirimu kwe yongera ma factory kwe yongera so nizo mtu po tunuli le chibuga no tunula saide mu expenditure Mando zaweta aga kujibalansinga. So, yes, chitufu, ensimbi tezimala, atefe economist tuga amba tezimala anga. Bo ulu inde chintu, ulu inde ensimbi zimale, uja kwe sanga tona chokoze. So, ulu alero, tupa deku principle, okusao ebibuga. Kakati echa operationalization, okubiti, engeli jetu na habitambu zamu, tuja kutula tuogere, neba finance na chi, tulabe nitu tupa fundele ensimbi. Naba kozi. Kati njaku saba Minister of Public Service, etuwe structure ya haba kozi. Uh, Tuja kusaba, of course, electoral commission. Walwe bivuge vigenda kutani kakati, nevya next year, bija kueta aga haba kule mbeze. Na ye, e, bivyo natu badete sobra kubikola. Ombu za budget, tu badete sobra kukola budget ye chibuga nga techiri uo. Chino chichibade chisoka. So nze ni musanyi foru alero. Wakiso, 
bali ne songa ngeri mwe gumba bagara batandikire wa mune ntebe arenge songo jiraba baba de mu district yemu uh, council resolution ili yemu akati tetwagala kutandika wo mwana ne chana so basabye tuchusa chuse muko entebe ne wakiso bitandikire wa mu 2022 um chibade chizibu kubanga tubado already tumaze okuyise kiteso ekiteso twakireta ne tuchi debating and tichogera ko ne chitesa ko olwa lero chibade kuchisa kakato sobala ate kuchichusa ngaba baka bamaze kuchisa so ako kaba de taken ko naye mba kakasiza with time tujja kutula tulete motion ku rwayo so chija chisoboka ombuze cha town council cho chitufu walo town council as it was and got enough fun and seem be now my gombora is on chiman nay um what all town council all on the city beyond your i didn't let down concert to gummy it is jack tandika zijak kora nay cabinet ya salo um socket to linde uh to la vichy jamu maso with nothing and seem be to jack wongera a man you move town council zezu zijak kora so it was it and because they are over to call us a jack call socket for nancy mb is equal a so cities singa as a town council to call anger cities maybe chandu young we to attend the town councils we sat to attend or moon i'm a gomber of saturn kaga you know it's a bit under call room now you have a chance city to come as a music and get at the end of the road yeah fuck up video every most sad so it's fair to jack so what does this mean to the people of the world uh, my name is Sabated Mandariko, MP Sorot Municipality. I would like to, first of all, congratulate the 10th Parliament, in which I am a member, for having passed a motion of creation of cities in this country. As a people of Soroti, first of all, we thank the members of Parliament for finding that Soroti historically is a regional hub a regional hub for the Ateker people and the people of the far eastern part of Uganda. And as Soroti, we hope that the city status will now spur the development that has already been uh, starting off in Soroti. Soroti is endowed with a lot of agricultural potential. We have a few enterprises coming up. We have a big potential in tourism. And we also know that we are the home of the second biggest airport in this country so far. So as Soroti, we know that the city status now means not only administrative growth, but also growth in the potential of the people in terms of their economic livelihood, as well as infrastructure development. So we thank Parliament for this. My name is Herbert Edmund Ariko, Soroti Municipality. <laughs> Gurudong sit. One again, watch a gurudong tija ye. Very good, very good. I think we are we are just very excited. Uh, in Acholi, when you see a man blow a horn, you know that that signifies the victory and happiness, celebration. We are very happy that uh, Gulu, among other uh, cities, are now cities. Uh, the only thing left is about hard work. These cities should not be in name. Gulu City should demonstrate its status as a new city in terms of hard work that will speed up development. And being in northern Uganda, which is agriculturally based, we believe we shall have to exploit our agricultural potential in northern Uganda to ensure that this city becomes an agro-based city that generates wealth from the entire northern Uganda that can give us better ways of standards of living. That is what we want. We, we, we aspire to improve our standards of living by ensuring that we utilize the new city status to its fullest. With Gulu having international, with, with Gulu having the airport, we believe soon government should as well proceed to elevate Gulu airport to an international airport so that we can utilize international trade in a normal way and even regional trade. We would love to see that 
airlines are beginning to route the travels. And for the, for the first time, we could have regional flights. Gulu, Nairobi, Juba, Gulu. Those are triangular flights that can actually go a long way to begin to boost trade. This is the time for work. We shall ensure we do not disappoint the people of Gulu City and the people of Northern Uganda and Uganda at large that Gulu has shown a long time, since 1912 to date, it has become a city. 120 years, it has been long coming. They deserve it, the people of Acholi and the entire communities that surround Acholi. I think, let us work together. This is our city. We own it collectively. Let us utilize it to generate wealth for our children and other children to come. I thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, you know, if it comes on development, as leaders from northern Uganda, we all tow the same line. You remember when Parliament came up with the proposal of creating cities in the north, in the whole country, we really look at development coming to our area. But I am somehow skeptical, I have fear. You remember last year, we passed the creations of town councils and sub-counties very well. There came a time when government says there is no money to operationalize those new sub-counties and town councils. I also have fear that here, right now, we have passed over eight cities. Eight cities come with cost. And 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, we have passed very many cities in this country. I have total fear that government may do the same like what they did with the sub-counties and the town councils. They may come and say there's no money to personalize those cities. It means we shall have wasted our time. I call upon government, let us try to put this into practice. Let us implement what <coughs> parliament has passed. Let us start planning very early. I know the economy is not doing well, but let us start planning as early as possible. So that comes July, Gulu City, Arua, and those ones that are supposed to start this year. We need to see it working. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm Tebino Wanzala, the member of parliament for Nakasongola constituency, of course, Nakasongola district. Uh, Nakasongola has been identified to benefit from a city status or to be accorded a city status in come 2023. But people are wondering why. Nakasongola, when you look at the history of Uganda in the, 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 the early 70s, it was identified that Nakasongola, first of all, is centrally located. It is the center of, of this country. If you move from east or the west or the north or the south, Nakasongola is the center, is the heart of Uganda. That's one reason. Secondly, um, when you look at Kampala, uh, the way we, it is congested and the traffic jam we are experiencing, it is really advisable to transfer the capital city from here to Nakasongo. We shall have it congested and have a very good planned city. For example, when you go to Tanzania, they had Dar es Salaam, but they opted to transfer the capital city to Dodoma. When you go to Nigeria, they had Lagos, but they had to opt to go and transfer the capital city to Abuja. So. That one is, is also one of the two reasons we can base at. But I want also to appeal to government that uh, as we are looking at these cities, let us plan accordingly to make sure that we can have these cities function so that we can really develop our country. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wansonga wobi kuturamu, wachiso nojireka mwazo jite maketu ndo tundwe. Tila vayo, uyo fuzi. Tetuwa gala kukule lila chema ita political convenience. Ukuchemu kilida no kuchemu kiliza mbio fuzi. Netuwa gala tukule eche, katu ino mwoyo kwekwa. Na ulo echo, uh, echo tuwa chikanya ku ni minister, ilana ya kukula machikiliza. Tugenda kuza motion, kukula machichibuka chintibi, neche wachiso. To be same, Beza, you mean a bit and a Murundi Gumu. The Beaver facilitated the Viambiwa Kunga, which for Chokreka, Echimunga, Techiche Yamba, the 
Uganda sent to Zirina and Kosa Sayazo YMB. Singa government ya Fenaba Jukurira, Banari Kira or Kosa Sovi sent as the Guanga, a sent as the Dukanya Uga Navy House to Zirina. No was that to watch it at the Betagas of Roko Kabarikira or Kono on a sent.